Hey guys, welcome to Fair and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Alone in the Dark. I said Let's Play. Let's Play of Alone in the Dark. This is part six. When we last left off, we were wandering around a Louisiana crypt. Oh my god, that's over. And, um, yeah. We died a few times, got a little stuck, had to Google. It's all good. Uh, are we going this way? I think that's where we need to go, but let's go ahead and check this out over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have we been here? I feel like I might be going back the long way. Maybe. I think we might be going the wrong way. No, because we didn't have access to an area like that. I guess that was just for fun. All these candles. Who lit all these? That's a little spooky, isn't it? Kind of. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, right. Let's look at the picture real quick. I think I have everything I need. No, we do, bro. It was the chapel. Shut up. The hell? Why don't I have all this stuff? Oh, it's just glitched. Cool. Uh, hand up front. Eagle to right. Okay. All right. Hand up top. Eagle to the right. All right. All of them facing upwards. Alrighty. Now we're cooking with gas. Please don't touch her. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you... My letter. I keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with someone. The oh. dark man. Who is he? No, 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 don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. The sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Oh, I can't go there. Not allowed. Hmm. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? That's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let it take you! Thanks, asshole. Uh, uh, uh. Letter. Okay. And homegirl's in the bed now. Just sleeping away or dead. One or the other. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then burn out like tide glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. 
just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love, Jeremy. All right, so she is dead. Luggage key. Okay, now we can finally open that up in his room. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Huh. All right, well. Okay. Let's go to his room. And open his little footlocker. Oh, wait, there's wrong room. Oops. It's the first room. The lens, okay. Now we go back to the library. Why would he lock that up? I am curious to see how, uh, what her story is, Emily's. Since, uh, I mean, I'll go ahead and spoil a little bit of it, but whenever we see her, she doesn't seem to be experiencing what we're experiencing. Which I think I meant to say something about that, unless I did and I just don't remember, which is highly likely. That That's why I liked about New Nightmares, at least both of them were experiencing this horror. But apparently, in, like this one, it's like only one of them is. Which is just kind of weird. Okay, where's the telescope? Oh, it's in here. Right. Right. What am I supposed to be focusing on? Supposed to just line them up, or hmm. okay. I am what the fuck? <laughs> what am I supposed to be looking at? I feel like I'm gonna line, I'm gonna focus more whenever whenever I find whatever I'm supposed to be looking at. Oh my god, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? to google this too what the fuck i never needed this much help oh alone in the dark okay create a clear you want to st stars closer to the middle and the bottom.
so the dots overlap each other. to watch a video of it. Jeez. You know what's crazy is this guy's look. The guy who's doing the video is like, oh my god, that, that is fucking annoying me. His like stars are like perfect. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. There. There you go. Got a few of them now. There. Took longer than it should have. Hey. Oh. Okay, so you can't rotate them, so they're just in that way. Okay, let's see. That would be up there. This would be like right here. Boom. 941 or 947. Okay, cool. I don't have to do it. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Alright. Oh. I don't know, where the fuck was that? It was showing a fireplace, I guess just... Check anywhere with the fireplace now. There's a fireplace there, but that's not it. Here? Oh 
shit. Fucking A. Seems like an appropriate time to just drink. <sighs> okay, we gotta find that fireplace. Where the fuck would that be? Did one of these rooms have a fireplace? No. The old dead girl have one? I like that we're also not gonna inform anyone that hey, homegirl's dead by the way. She's uh she's up there. He doesn't have one. Where am I supposed to go? I there's wish it would just like say, hey, that's the blah blah room. I right, maybe there's a you know. Oh man, you know what? I've been skipping this area for a while. I think there's something upstairs. Uh, on this side over here where you go to the basement, there's stairs that go up, but I know that the doors are locked, but I think that little Carpenter tool actually um, actually might move it out of the way. It's right here. Because I was like, I know there's a second door. It's yeah, wedged right up. here. Boom. It worked. And this is probably how you would have found the key, the key to the medicine box. But my bitch ass just would not fucking go up the stairs. What do you know? Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't Ooh. worry much. My Take a look guy, he glitched because he was saying something, I think. You may think it looks spectacularly mm. devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss.
So that's two drinks he's had already. Well, you know, not to mention the times I brought my health. Oh. Alright. those doors. The other ones can't be unlocked because they're blocked. There's a door over here though. Thank you. Uh -uh. Let's see what's upstairs. You know, I don't think flashlights back in the day gave off that uh, that LED glow. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, see, this is where we would have found the uh, medicine box key. Yep. Look at that. We've gone so... Such the opposite way of how the game wanted me to go. Oh. Nice. Aggressive rot. We found it. We found it. Oh, let's unlock this door. Oh, you can't lock it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's see where this next memory takes us. On the commonplace of evil, there lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence, always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Hey, yo. Roll credits. Okay, I guess... I guess that's it. Hmm. Was that not the... Play, the fireplace I was talking about? Oh my god, we hit another fucking dead end. God damn it. Oh well, let's go unlock that. Let's go unlock that medicine box just for shits and giggles. Oh no, it's not here. It's bathroom. It's right here. Now, once again, we're stuck. I mean, I don't know where, we're, where I'm supposed to go. Oh, that is happening way too fucking often in this game so far. Another word. In the dining room. That's where I just was. I was just in the dining room. Use the talisman to. Uh, then there's something in here I haven't seen.
Yeah, the talisman has shown that the gate will open in the dining room. And that's where I am. Oh no. Oh no, is the game like glitched or something? Is it because I went ass backwards and it doesn't understand that now I'm here? Oh, yeah, this door's kind of open. Oh! <laughs> Hey! Now we're alone in the light. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts. So but did I. But the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. Yermi. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy... Why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Yermi wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Yermi imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Jeremy's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. All it's right. the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud, if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There mm. is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh jeez, just perfect. Just be careful, that's it. <laughs> Alright, and with that, that's going to be the end of part six of our Let's Play of Alone in the Dark. We'll be back in part seven and see if we can make it past the Dark Man. Without having to cheat, hopefully. Anyway guys, hope you're enjoying this. Until next time, peace.